All right. At the destruction of the foundry, completely accidental, but immediately due to your fire magic, you and your family flee to the countryside to hide from morale. The wild creatures out here scare you at first, but you soon realize that a beast attack is just another chance to practice your pyromancy. Our parents are so nice trying to hide us. So Kaldesh Wildlife is what we're fighting this time. So we got... Magic Vandal doesn't do any much good in this one. I want to draw a new hand. I don't like that. Lots of mountains and Shantra's Fury. Alright, we're going for it. <laughs> we are going to go for it here. If I get the right cards, this is going to be epic. But I've got to get the right cards. That was not the right card. He's got a turn to play. It is the Savaging Ooze. For one force, he can exile target card from his graveyard. If it was a creature card, he puts a plus one, plus one counter on the Ooze and gains a life. So. It's actually a pretty cool card. I hate a creature. Well. Oh. A nice card, I can't play it yet. I am we'll be able to play it next turn. But in the meantime I won't take two damage. Yep, there it goes. There we go, Pyro Charger. So let's do this. Let's actually put him out right off the bat. And we're going to pump him up to a 3 1. And then we're going to attack with him right off the bat. And there you go. Look at that. He's going to play at the end of my or end of his turn. I guess. Oh, it's a, it's a flash. You can cast it any time like you cast an instant. Ambush Snake. Ambush Viper. It's got Death Touch to 2-1. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. It's actually rather ingenious. I, I, I applaud your ingenuity there. So I'll take f just 2 damage. Yeah, just 2 damage. That's fine. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. That, that's fine with me. Alright, so we're gonna add another mana out there. We're going to Shonda's Outrage the Ooze. There we go. We're gonna pump you up. And then we're going to attack you for two. Which basically means we hit you for four damage this turn. There we go. Again, see what I mean by the fast pace of this deck. It's meant to be played quickly. Staff of the Wild Magus. Whenever you cast a green spell or a forest enters the battlefield under control, you gain a life. That's convenient for you. Look, you gain to life. Should attack me with the Viper. There we go. Alright. That's the end of his turn. So we'll toss him the mountain out there. And two, four, six, seven, yeah. And we're gonna go ahead and Pump you up to a 7-7. Seven, seven. And then attack. I'm kind of hedging my bets here against him not being able to gain too much life back. I'll go to 8, that's fine. Attack me for 2, that's fine. 
I think if there's another creature out there, I'll probably play Chandra's Fury or play one of my other cards, but... Ah, yeah, streaking out. There we go. So he's up to nine. That's fine. Alright. So... Get the fire elemental out there. Put the young fire elemental out there. There we go. That way we've got an answer to that, and we've got an answer to that. We are going to skip the attack this round. This way if he brings the attack to me, I can take out his creatures. He is not. Good. Gonna play Lost in the Woods. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, reveal the top card from your library. It's the forest, remove that creature from combat, and put the reveal card at the bottom of the library. Interesting. That's an interesting little card. Okay, okay, let's see how it is. Let's get another fire elemental out here. He's gonna keep gaining life. I've gotta start knocking him down again soon. Let's skip the attack. And because he could ambush Viper to that. They die. Hurt. Hunt of the weak. Put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control. Then that creature fights target creature you don't control. Okay, so he's going to put one one creature on that. And I don't have enough to fight him on that, so whatever. I'm, I'm cool with that, I think. Uh, I'll be okay with that. I'll take that, that's fine. Alright, so... I think I've got enough right now where he can only block two. He can probably block both the five fives. So five damage we get through. <sighs> so the question is, do I play fast and hard or do I play defensive. I think I'm going to play fast and hard again. There's two fours I think I saw. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Alright. It's just that they don't attack. You gotta read that creature of combat. Okay. Okay. It's an interesting little card. He's going to attack me for 9 if he wants to. He's only going to attack me for 7. Nine. Oh, and he untaps. Mother... Untapped target creature gets plus 2. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Son of a... I tried. There's a mountain. Alright. I can do seven damage to him. Eleven damage if there's no forced. Eleven damage if there's no force. So basically, I'm going to gamble that these top three cards there's no force. Otherwise, I'm dead. So let's do it. Alright, no force, no force, no forests. There's a forest. I'll block that one, but he should die. There we go, okay. 
we're good. So now we've got the advantage. It's four to three, and he can't do anything. Oh, press the attack. Press the attack. No force, no force, no force, no forced. No, one force. That's okay. Because guess what? We're going to win. Oh, neg three. Whew. That was a rough one. <laughs> oh. I said, sometimes you just got so cautious in the wind and pressed the attack. And it almost backfired on me hugely, but I, I, I somehow managed to pull it over. Pull it uh, maybe it's not so bad being on the lamb. You've been tangled with beasts and honing your pyromancy, and your family has found a comfortable village to stay in. As long as Brawl's forces don't catch you. Uh, maybe even a wanted pyromancer can enjoy a bit of freedom. Uh, and then next up, we will see what happens. Never a good sign when they say, if they don't find me. So, till then, thanks for watching.